FaceTime. Welcome back to FaceTime, episode 5 with special guest Posai. Frank Posai is a really cool and creative dude, I know for a couple of years already. On this episode, we are having an in-depth chat about his art and the way he works as a producer. I hope you enjoy listening and have a wonderful day. Hello, Frank. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful, wonderful evening. And uh, it's a delight to have you on my FaceTime podcast. So thank you for taking the time. So um, how are you doing? I'm good. How's life been treating you recently? Good. I've been uh, taking it slow. Taking it Just, slow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, taking it slow on... on on bass music. Okay. I've been making lots of house and electro. And just today I, I uh, was in contact with someone that's going to do the logo. Nice. For the, because I have a new name for it. Okay. So that's what's mostly keeping me busy. All right. And then I'm also getting back into bass music production and trying to think of a plan because I also. You know, I need to have releases, I suppose. Eh? Nice one, man. So there's a lot of things we can uh, dive in here. So that's cool. It's very exciting because mm -hmm. uh, I realized a lot, of, a lot is happening around you, which is really cool. So um, let's try to get through this step by step. So we know each other for a few years now. Yeah, we know each other yeah. for, and actually have met on many various occasions. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Can't remember them all, but they were quite a, a many now that I sort of. And um, you, are, mm. you are a damn fine guy. And uh, uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> nice, and I uh, always have been a fan of your music. And uh, I love that you don't really take yourself too serious. And you can hear that in the music, but you do obviously uh, seriously cool music. So, it, it, it's, it's, so not saying that you, your music is cheesy, not at all. It's really cool. And um, where does your uh, inner thrive to produce your own style of music come from when you look really deep into yourself? And how do you keep it fresh yeah. and sparkling? What, what is like, where's Poseidon coming from? Well, it, it's, it started out as just like an interest in like, Uh, the first music I made, I always tried to cover um, Monsieur Oiseau flat beat, yeah. Mr. Oizo flat beat. Sick tune. And I, so I was always just remaking it. <laughs> and then I sort of discovered that you can make your own shit as well. Yeah. So then I started writing songs, but it was nowhere near a school. And, it, and they were also <laughs> like, they were more like love songs or like, like cheesy pop songs or whatever. But I just love the feeling that it gives when you, when you've written something And you you feel something, yeah. And then, because you always know when you've written something new, you always know which one will be completed. Yeah, and it's gonna be like, yeah, because I like I have like a thousand demos, but I'm sure I've released 80 songs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which is cool. Like, uh, which is cool. It's like that's I'm a totally opposite of a producer. Like, I don't mm. do a lot of demos, but I usually finish the tracks I work on. Uh, but oh, I really? Yeah, like yeah. Frequency does that as well. Like every project, 